Well, hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter, and today I'm just doing a super quick test video to see how my new lights work. My lights blew up recently. Popped, cracked, sizzled, all kinds of things. It was bad. So I haven't been filming for a while, but I just got new Draycast lights. They're very thin profile. I'm hoping that's gonna work better with my space, but with a phone, you get a weird LED cast, like the glow thing. So we'll see how that goes. I don't film much on my phone, so I'll probably be okay. I'm going to show you real quickly the Ellen Hudson release cards that I made that I'm posting over on my blog. No tutorial, but I'll explain kind of a little of what I did. Tic-tac-toe die and confetti kisses are new. And the envelope slider die is an older one, but I made some vellum envelopes that I could put my X's and O's in so the person who receives the card can pull out the little parts and play tic-tac-toe with someone. I thought that was kind of a fun way to do an interactive card, especially for kids with Valentine's coming up. Next up is letterboard. There are four letterboard die sets. One has the background and the letters that are this size. Then there's a large letter size and two script sets. So you can get those and pair them up together. Tip for you when you're cutting out all these little tiny letters, put some stick it or be creative tape or something on the back of it before you do your die cutting so that your letters come out sticky. The heart is from another one of the die sets from the X's and O's. And then the little light bulb is from Conductor of Light. And I used that from the anniversary giveaway that Ellen had recently. Next we have Blowing Kisses from the High Five set. And it's mostly sentiments, it has some really cute hearts in it. And I've embossed the hearts in clear and the Blowing Kisses in white. And the strip at the bottom I made by putting a piece of washi tape down and tapping my ink pad along the bottom. And for both of these I used Catherine Pooler inks, which I have recently discovered and love them. Next is the hand dies. I made my own sleeves. I just cut out little pieces of red cardstock so they'd have some sleeves on them. And then I cut in the sides of the cards so that my hands could stick out and be wider, but it'll still fit in an envelope. And I have some red liner paper you can see inside. And I've got some dimensional adhesive, one layer under the hands and then another layer under the sleeve. So it has double thickness on it. Links to the new release as well as the lights are in the doobly-doo down below and on my blog if you're interested in more information. I'm going to return to my YouTube sabbatical now. For the rest of December I might post a video or two but nothing major and I will return full strength in January but I am still on Instagram and Facebook so I'll see you there.